Hello everybody, this is Chris and this is my channel, Barnon 11970 Thank you for taking the time to check out what I am about to say, and hopefully it will resonate with you, and probably will because that's probably why you're here. Um, I want to read one of the um, comments, and first of all, I want to thank everybody for such positive responses. It's very refreshing, especially since I've been away for a little while. Had to learn some things and had to be reminded of things, so that's what I want to talk about here. So hopefully this will continue to give you the things that you're searching for because there are no accidents. Whether you believe that or not is irrelevant because belief is the problem and it's the main reason for control. Well, let me read this uh, comment from Jade Gold 66 uh, They wrote, wow, it is nice to see such positive feedback on a YouTube post. Shockingly, I actually agree. Uh, there really is hope for the human race. Every time I start to feel defeated, Something happens to show me why I should never give up. Thank you for the post, and thank you all for your reinforcement in the comments. I thoroughly agree with that. And here's my response, and I'm going to add a little to it. And I responded, all happens for a reason. You found this video because you needed to hear something in it that would resonate with you. That is not by accident. Life is light and magnetism, and you will always attract what you feel, good and bad. We can change the world. We just have to stop believing others that tell you you can't, because if you believe them, you make them right. And that's the biggest thing that I've learned through all this. I am so glad that I had to go through the attacks and the hate and the judgments and the problems just by going to a comic book channel. I, I learned a lot from my experience, and that shows that instead of taking the woe is me attitude or getting depressed or turning to alcohol or shutting down the channels and letting them win, I decided, okay, what is it that's being presented in front of me that I can learn from, and what's the message? And I've learned that others try and dictate how you feel, but they can only make suggestions, whether it be through insult or through nasty comments, or even threats of violence. See, in this world of free will, you cannot be forced to do anything, but you can be tricked or influenced or persuaded or scared to death into doing something. But in the end, you're ultimately volunteering to do it because no one could make you do anything. You can submit to them, but that boils down to choice. So when people say you can't do something. Well, if you believe them, then you prove them to be correct. If you decide, okay, I choose to do things my own way. I choose to believe in things my own way. I choose to see things my own way. Then it doesn't matter what somebody else says because it's nothing more than their opinion, no matter how they state it or how many people agree with it. And when it comes to the, why the few can control the many is because the few have mastered the ability to attack your emotions and your need to feel part of a group and influence you through emotions to volunteer your servitude through fear or through reward or through just feeling out of place. The strong can be alone. The strong can do things by themselves. It is the weak that need the group mentality to energize them because they feed off of that energy. And if you're here and you've been alone and you still believe in these things, you can change any belief. You can't change truth. You can try and make it up or not talk about it or avoid it or not listen to it. But truth is truth. Even if you try and lie to yourself, you can't lie about truth. It's like positive and negative. Positive and negative is what we need in this life. How does your car battery work if it doesn't have a positive and a negative? The yin and the yang, the male and the female, the good and the bad. They're all to guide you if you listen. And I've been guilty of that myself, being attacked for so many years and having such nasty things being accused of me and saying these things and the people ganging up. It overwhelmed me at points where I wanted to give up. I originally had a channel called Barn on 11967. I shut it down because I let them overtake me. Then I got stronger and stronger. And then they still got to me because it can affect the best of us. Sometimes we need to be reminded of that. And at one point I was like, you know what? I can't deal with this anymore. Let me go do something else. And I started making a channel about comic books. And I thought, oh, I can just put all that away 
do this new life thing and life will be happily ever after from here on out. And you know what? Because like I said, the universe and everything in creation is made of light and is attracted through magnetism. You will always attract what you feel. And in my mind, I was always worried about, well, what if they find me? Guess what? They did. But I needed the reason that it happened was to present a challenge to me to say, it's time to look inward, not outward. Stop worrying about what other people do and say, because you can't stop them. But you can control how you react to things. And it made me make the videos that I've made that, as you can see by some of these comments, and I suggest, especially my last video that I did, how many positive responses that I've gotten. Thank you. Thank you. Your words spoke. I really needed to, what I really needed to hear today. Um, or else. Like, oh, look at this. It's great to have you back. Your voice, you give a good voice to reason. I really respected this video. Positivity. Do you think you found these videos by accident? Maybe they found you because it's what you've been feeling. It doesn't matter what you say or what you think. It's what you feel that attracts. That's why people in relationships, they can have bad relationship after bad relationship and say, oh, I want to have something better, but keep getting the same thing because they're so afraid of what's out there or the unknown. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, it is all about choice. And the rougher things are around you, the more something in, inside you cares enough about you to say, here, I'm going to make it so difficult that you have to listen. And I've used this mentality before, this demonstration before of, let's, let's take a stove that's not on. Let's take the stove as life. Your hand on one of the rings of the stove, but it's not on. You put your hand on it, and that's you thinking you have control of life. And you have that stubborn mentality of, I'm going to do this. I'm set in my ways. This is my belief. Nothing can change me. And let's say, quote unquote, God, whatever God you want to believe in, whatever type of God, because first of all, when you say the word God, which God are you referring to? Because people believe in different ones. So God is not a name. So be careful about the misleading of words. But let's just assume whatever God you believe in comes to you and says, I love you. I want to help you from dealing with pain. So I want you to remove your hand from that stove. And you sit there and say in your egotistical kind of way, I control my life. I can do whatever I want. You can't stop me. I'm keeping my hand there. So whatever God you believe in turns around and says, I tried to tell you. Turns up the heat a little bit. You barely feel it. And you sit there laughing. It's like, that's nothing. You're warming my hand. Thank you for that. It actually feels good. I'm not moving my hand. He goes, once again, you may want to take your hand away. I'm trying to help you. And stubbornly, you say, no, I can control everything. Turns it up a little bit more. Now it's starting to feel a little uncomfortable, but you can deal with it because after all, you're strong. You can do anything stubbornly. You'll never change your ideals because you have a certain viewpoint. And you say, I'm not taking my hand away. And once again, he or she approaches you and says, please take your hand off the stove. And you stubbornly say no. So then they just turn and say, okay, I tried to warn you. Turns it up all the way. And you hold it there as much as you can, but the pain is increasing, increasing, increasing. It hurts so much until one point you have to take your hand off. And you look and now your hand is permanently scarred. Probably can't use it ever again. Because your stubbornness to not be able to adapt and change and listen and pay attention caused you by your own choice to hurt yourself. So the inevitable that was said happened. But because you didn't listen to the warnings that are presented to you and how they got worse and worse and more and more difficult, the more you resist paying attention, the more damage you cause. So if you listen to what life is showing you and you have something depressing you or angering you or frustrating you or people are ganging up and attacking you, yes, those people are bad, they're evil, but they serve you a purpose because it's presenting something to you, slapping you in the head and saying, hello, McFly, getting you to pay attention to it. And the majority of people, we are so conditioned to think that everything bad is a, why did that have to happen to me? Woe is me. Because if that person would have took his hand off the stove in the beginning, he would have never burned himself. But he had to learn through the pain not to do that. Because I guarantee you that person will never make that same mistake again.
And sadly, some people continue to make the same mistakes over again, and they blame everybody else, but they don't look inward. It all boils down to choice. You're here because you chose to be. You may hate it because you choose to hate it. I can't tell you what to do. I can suggest things and give you options, but it's ultimately your choice to say, you know what? This is what I now resonate with. Or you can sit there and say, this guy is full of garbage. I, I don't care. I never want to talk to him again. Doesn't change who I am or what I'm about. Think about that. So most people are here for the right reasons and they're resonating here because like I've said, and I've said it before and I'll say it again, the universe is made of nothing but two things, light and magnetism. Everything's made of atoms, which are particles of energy. It's attracted through magnetism. That's what holds everything together. That's why you're always attracted to certain things, resonating to certain things, or repelled by certain things. But make no mistake, there has to be good and bad because it's nothing more than the yin and the yang, the positive and the negative, the black and the white, light and the dark. Can't appreciate summer if you never experience how cold the winter is. So think about it in a more positive light, or choose to. I can't tell you what to do. You have to make the ultimate choice. And that's why, like I said in the other video, the world will never change as long as we allow the very few to manipulate us into believing we have no power. You have all the power in the world. You're Dorothy. You have the power to go home anytime you want. Just click your heels three times. If anybody wants to make fun of you for it or attack you for it, it's because their mentality is not set to a level where they can think outside of what they've been told and programmed. Because ultimately, fear keeps people in control. And if you cannot have an honest debate with other people and try and expand your mindset, that's a choice you've decided to make. But the beautiful thing about any choice is you can always make another. So it's never too late until it's the end. And in an infinite universe with infinite possibilities, guess what? There is no end. Probably why you're still here. Why you're all still here. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to keep this one under five hours because, you know, I do love to ramble. If this helps you, you want to share it, that's great. You want to thumb it up, that helps show support. Um, other than that, just enjoy it. And when I come up with things that help inspire, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And if you were inspired, go help inspire somebody else. Don't break the chain. We want to make change. You got to get up and do something about it or just hope for change and wonder why it never happens. When you're sitting here listening to this, no matter where you are, if you're hungry, pray for food, wish for food, hope for food, and just sit there and watch yourself slowly starve to death. Or you can just get up and go get yourself something. So when it comes to changing the world, you can sit there and complain about how things are unfair. You can complain about how difficult it is. You can sit there and say, woe is me. You can grab that bottle of Jack Daniels that's in by the refrigerator. You can go do your drugs that help you ease the pain temporarily. Or you can just get up and change it. Praying for it isn't going to get it done. Just like praying for food is not all of a sudden going to have it magically appear. I'm sorry to disappoint people who think that praying gives you everything that you need. That's what they're hoping you do. They hope you get down on your knees and pray to somebody that supposedly says that they love you with infinite love, but will judge you and send you to a burning fiery pit of hell for all eternity because you ate meat on a Friday. Rethink. And even that part, if that makes you angry, think about why. Search in for yourself. Dig deeper and you will always find. And there's always something further to look into. So do, or well, like Yoda said in Empire Strikes Back, and I love this quote, do or do not, there is no try. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next video.